Despite not winning the Soul Music Awards 2022 seems to be the most appreciable. On January 23rd, 31st Soul Music Awards took place at Gojik Sky Dome. While once voted vigorously, we couldn't win the Bond Sang Award, for which I was disappointed initially. But after witnessing the entire list of SMA winners, I found it it was grateful that twice didn't won the Bond Sang. Even if we have won in the voting, then also I think the chances of twice winning the Bond Sang was less, as most of the award seems to be grouped up. While I respect all the winners of SMA, let's just be genuine. I think many of us might felt disappointment with most of the winners. I don't have problem with NCT 127 winning the Daisa instead of BTS, as they also deserved it. But the most controversial ones were Rookie of the Year awards as well as Bonsan awards. While the well-known and well-achieved lines like Aespa, Stacy, Ivy, and Kepler were substituted by another acts like. Lee Mujin, Apex and Omega X. While Lee Mujin was known for his popular song Traffic Light, but the name like Apex and Omega X were not even known until mentioned here. Now moving on to Bonsa. Even though Twice didn't win it, it's okay. But in the list there were many other acts who were much lagging in voting as well as in sales and digital performance. This puts me into question on what basis they even selected the winners. Many deserving acts were rejected these awards. I think it was really rigged up award. Previously, I was sad that Twice couldn't win the Bond Sang for the consecutive years at SMA, but now I feel happy that Twice didn't win this rigged up show. What do you all guys think about the show and the awards?